Okay, so we're back to Nina and Ryu. That's where we were before, wasn't it? Well, that was a bit of an interesting change. We jumped ship off of these characters onto a new character, so sort of like a secondary protagonist that we have. A secondary protagonist who is much more powerful than these two. And I guess... I don't know, maybe his, uh, maybe his arc in this story is going to be about sort of regaining his throne or something like that. Oh, green swirl. Does that mean I get a good attack at, off at the beginning? I have the initiative. Charge! Yeah, great victory, sure. Oh, he seems so pathetic compared to to the other guy, to to Folu or Faulu or what the hell is his name? At least she has some abilities, uh, magic abilities. He didn't have that. Oh shit! For you can turn into a dragon now. Uh, let's find a fight and use it. Uh, leather armor. Oh, there we go. Oh, she can't use it. Oh, okay. That'll give him the better armor. I guess this is as good as the armor Nina has, which was a defense four weight two. So let's um let's see. Okay, yeah. He's got better defense than she does now. Still higher, uh, but he'll never match in terms of magic or speed. Alright, let's get out of here. Oh, I was going to get into a fight. Ah, fuck it. I'm sure I'll get into a fight later. In the... In three... Between every story beat, or most every story beat... Yeah. Yeah. You can go to camp. You can go to camp, and there'd be conversation that you can have with the other characters. Seems to be built the same way as the other camp. Pressed skill. Skills. You can do the skills thing in this. Oh, okay. I guess I'll find out what these are later. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't want to use any items. This is a master list also. Although I don't have any masters yet, so... I can't do this. Camping is what you did to try and save money. You didn't have to use an inn. You could just, uh... Camp out of town and... That would uh, restore your health, but if you had a character that was knocked unconscious, their health would be, like, permanently knocked down, at least until you stayed at a proper inn. And a camp wouldn't do it. Okay, uh, this town's kind of cramped, isn't it? Uh, 
Oh, jeez. It is so cramped that it's hard to see your way around. Ah. What's diary? Oh, is that for saving? Yeah, it's for saving. So this is an inn, not a, uh, not a store. She needs sand flyer parts, so I gotta find a store. Yes, Mr. T? Or Zangief? <laughs> Sure, dude. What, what do you got? Sage's Staff. Increases speed, but lowers... Or increases damage, but lowers speed. Leather Armor. Already got that. Could use the Bandana. Or the Brass Helm. Boots slow Ryu down, though. I should buy this shit. But I'm gonna hold off for now. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, break the fourth wall again. If they can't let me... They won't let me I'll just align the camera up like I need to to see where I am. Oh! Fishing shit. Oh, wait, that's not fishing shit. Yeah, there is fishing shit here. For some reason, I thought Croc Tear was a, uh, was a lore in Breath of Fire 3. I guess the Croc Tear was a curing item, but there is fishing shit here, so let me, uh... Now, since I don't have freedom on the world map, I wonder where I can actually fish. Jeez, this town is terrible. Hey, it's the Chocobo. Oh, I'm on a platform. This town seems to be designed to piss me off. And who the hell are you? No, I think I got it. Oh, so I've got... So I got to fill the happy gauge. So I give him a steak. And that fills his happy gauge. Now I should give him a drink. Oh, shit. It creeps back down. So, and then a sausage. I got to refill his... Gotta make him happy. Now, I'm, I'm just gonna circle through this. Triangle, circle, square, X. Ah, see, now I gotta give him a steak, though, because his drink is so high. Oh, is he happy enough? I was already at the damn inn. Oh, 
Oh, yay. Two antidotes. <laughs> Okay, so the end was down here, right? Oh, is this guy the information broker? Uh, information broker, Swirly Eye Zangief. Got another mini game. Oh, I think I got it. I thought I already... Oh, it was adding them up? Oh, jeez. I'm paying this guy a lot of money. I need to leave now, then, huh? Might need to get into some fights to get some more damn money. I'm not going to be able to buy the damn Sandflyer parts. Okay. It's supposed to be outside of town. Is it supposed to be in one of these locations? Oh, yep, I guess so. Password, password? What do you got to sell? Can I fish here? <laughs> Is there a treasure here? Maybe. The running animations are so goofy, especially Nina's. Look at her. <laughs> okay, I guess there's nothing here but the... Uh, Shopkeeper. Oh, wait, that's not where I need to be. I'm just in one of these regular places. Well, might as well find the treasure then. You know what? I didn't try the dragon form yet. Oh, that's a new enemy. Alright. They really go all out with these transformation animations. Breath of Fire 3 was much simpler. Just a sort of black bubble formed around Ryu. And then it would go away and he'd be the dragon. Oh, he's a fire dragon. Fire dragon. Hey, you know what? 
that Folu guy was weak against fire. And I guess, um... Ryu is a fire dragon, so I guess maybe he is, like, the... He is the... Like, opposite of... Why'd they switch places? <laughs> He's kind of the opposite. A foil, I guess, would be the uh, appropriate term, though. A foil technically should have similar kind of abilities. And I guess they do have similar abilities, but... Folu is, like, way more powerful. I guess that kind of makes for... A, a mismatched foil. Okay, maybe there isn't a treasure chest here. I guess there... Oh, there it is. I was about to give up. Yeah, I went in the camp not realizing that Nina would say something different this time. I guess I did progress through a story beat, so that was what was going to happen. Alright, back to Sarah. Sarah I? Sarah I? Uh, Sarah I? Fuck, I don't know. And there is the tavern guy, who I tell password to. I guess the password is password. And we're back here again. This, uh, the fact that... I'm, um, yeah, steal from him. <laughs> the fact that Ryu is a silent protagonist, but Folu isn't, is kind of weird. Now, where the hell do we have to go? Okay. This guy didn't have what we needed. But he gave us another lead as to where to go, so... Doing these gopher missions. Go here, do this. Go here, do that. A long chain of activities in order to progress the story on to the next section. It's a pretty common thing in these kinds of games. Maybe I should buy my upgraded weapons and armor. Trade? What, the, what does trade mean? I mean, I know what the word trade means, but what does it mean in terms of this? Oh, okay, so by choosing this, it'll just swap the, uh, so I don't have to, it'll swap their weapons, so I don't have to, um, I don't have to go through the trouble of equipping them personally. Alright, so... Yep. Yep. The, uh, the armor isn't here. Oh, okay. Yeah, maybe I should have done that earlier. I would have seen everything. <laughs> What's in this, uh... There's a door here, isn't there? 
What's in here? Oh, it's just someone's house. I guess she doesn't know either. <laughs> yeah, of course, you're about to start a war. It's a freaking video game. It's, it's all about war. Okay, so I'm going to leave this area and move on, but we're 21 minutes in, so that'll be the next episode. There's a guy in a sombrero over here. I'm going to talk to him real quick. Okay, he had nothing good to say. Ah, oh, jeez, I wish I remembered that Nina could do this. This would have made navigating these streets so much easier. Ah, <laughs> eh, live and you learn.